Ooh. Can you see me? Can you see me? Hello, everyone. Going to be doing another food review tonight. I went to Taco de John. Taco John, if you don't know. And this chair is being a pain in the butt tonight. So, what do we have in the box tonight? Or in the bag, I guess. Well, we got a straw. Woo! See, the bag is so massive that it covers me. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay. So, we're going to take care of this, and we're going to get this in the drink. We did do a, a uh, meal tonight again. And I got a couple extra tacos since it was Taco Tuesday. So, tacos at Taco John's are 69 cents on Taco Tuesday. You can't beat that, folks. All right, so we have napkins, a receipt. Now, the combo that I'm going to be showing you tonight costs $7.99. Hmm. This is Tuesday. They didn't charge me 69 cents for the tacos. This is supposed to be Taco Tuesday. So we're going to just kind of, I guess we're not going to look at that. So the combo tonight was $7.99. Now here's what we got for the combo for that purchase, or that price. Taco per, what, Perfecto. And a taco perfecto. And a potato ole. Large. Now, a large size on that was an extra 59 cents. And large uh, Diet Pepsi. Extra 40 cents. So an extra dollar. We got upsized to a large size on the potato ole and the soda. Not, not bad for a buck. That's really not too bad. So, because we upsized, it's $8.99 for the meal tonight. That we're going to be showing you now. I got two crispy tacos. That's just because I wanted a couple. I thought they were Taco Tuesday. Because this is Tuesday. I might have to go over there and chew their head off a little bit. <laughs> um, and I got the churro bites. So we'll see those in a minute. Those were $1.59 for the churro bites. So that's my dessert tonight. All in all, we're at $14.36 for what's in the bag. But tonight we're basically just focusing on the combo. What you get for $8.99 being a large size. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We've got the price out. We've got the napkins in the way. Again, we're at the Christmas table tonight. And we've got the large soda right here. This is a, a big a big soda. You can see my, my arm here goes almost up to my elbow. It's almost as big as the bag. Okay, that is the right soda. So, we've got the potato olés. We've got churro bites. Now, take a look at those. They're just a little cinnamon, frosted cinnamon stick kind of a thing. They used to sell them as one long stick, and but now they're putting them in these little bite things. It's basically the same thing, just chopped up. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Got the uh, two rip-off tacos here. That kind of pisses me off a little bit. Kind of got... We got the... Um, Hot sauce. I went with the hot sauce tonight. That's going to be for our potato lace, probably. I'm going to go ahead and get on in on one of them right now. Boy, they gave me a lot of hot sauce here. I got one, two, three. I've got five packets of hot sauce I just pulled out of there. Okay, so one of these, these look awfully small. These look kind of disappointing already, I can tell you that. Okay. Um, one of these is a steak, and the other one is a chicken. So you get two of these in the combo for $7.99 if you get just the regular size. So let's go ahead and put those up there like that. We'll go ahead and get ourselves another one of them bad boys. Mm hmm. For yes, sure. Maybe we'll move him over since it seems to be confusing the, uh, confusing the focus a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn this over a little bit to the, yeah, maybe right there. Okay, so what do we have here? Let's find out. It was supposed to be kind of like a taco thing. 
Looks like they're a weird, really weird taco. They look like a Titanic or something here. I thought these were going to be um, pita bread or something, but. Can I see the. This is the. Looks like this is the. Can't really tell. I was gonna say this looks like it might be the steak, but I could be the chicken. Looks like looks like dark meat in there. I don't have to. Let's go ahead and turn that back so I can get into the frame better. I guess the camera's over on this side of the phone, huh? We'll learn something every day. Yeah, you can kind of see down it there. And it's a it's a long taco, but I don't know that this is any different than the other taco. So should have got the meat and potato burrito. But I figured this looked like it was something new, so I thought we'll do a good review. We'll do a review of it. So we'll do it with the hot sauce, but we're going to try it without the hot sauce first. So I think this is the steak one, so we're going to go in for a bite and we'll let you know on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's like this spicy southwestern sauce in it. You can kind of see that. Kind of an orangish color. Kind of, I guess it looks white on the camera, but you see, kind of see that. Maybe darken the light, cut out the light a little bit here. Maybe that'll help. Kind of looks a little bit orange. This is the chicken. That's white meat. That's why it's blinding the camera because it's white. Okay, so this is a Southwest. It's kind of a, it's a little bit of a Chipotle Southwest kind of a, of a sauce. It's not really particularly hot to me. It has a little bit of a kick, but it's nothing that uh, is going to make me reach for the large soda right there. Mm-hmm. Now, let's see if we can dull that light a little bit. And you can see that, you see that piece of chicken right there. Pretty good chunk of chicken right there. Feels like, uh, feels like, yeah, feels like, ooh. Tastes like white um, chicken breast there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's a interestingly long tortilla, tortilla shell, but it's not too bad. It's got a little, just a little bit of a kick. Nothing that's gonna, you know, hurt you in the end there. You see over that, um, you can see over that uh, char on char on that uh, chicken piece right there. So we got lettuce and tomato. We got shredded cheese that's kind of melted a little bit. That's typical of Taco John's. The shell is a yellow shell, as you can see. Um, it's not soggy. Sometimes Taco John's tacos are soggy and like they've been reheated, renewed. Um, this is not that. It's nice and crisp, fresh. Um, then you got the Chipotle, Southwestern Chipotle sauce, and then you got the chicken. So that's basically what's all in this one right here. Okay, so that one is pretty good. I definitely get. I definitely like that. It's a good thing it gives you two of these because this one by itself was not worth eight bucks. But it was good. I could have three or four more of those. Don't get me wrong. But for the money, I'm not really sure. 
this is once again, you know, what I keep saying. Fast food is getting ridiculous. Another example of an $8 meal right here. Minus the extra stuff I got, but $8 meal just for the combo, large size. Now, the potato, the potato lays, you definitely get quite a few of them in there. I mean, this is a big, this is a big bowl of uh, potato lays right here. These are, if you don't, never had these before, they're just like tater tots, basically, with a little bit more um, saltiness to them. But that's basically all there is just tater tots in a, in a round form there. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at the steak one right here. Again, we got the same kind of banana boat, and this one is a little soggy over here, so we have to be careful on that. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and dive on into the steak one here, and we'll give you a close-up of what it looks like inside. Okay. Oh, that's an interesting flavor there. I'm going to have to ponder that flavor. You can see this one has, you can see the steak there. I'll get in the camera so I can see it here. You got the steak right there. It's kind of a fire roasted um, salsa. Let's see if it'll focus better there I don't know there we go that's a little bit better the spanky Cheech's hand right there okay again we have the same thing lettuce and tomato cheese shredded cheese <clears throat> um, let's see if I can bring that on down there without spilling it all over the table here so you can see the lettuce and tomato there good enough there I guess <laughs> um, soggier the uh, steak has soaked into the um, shell so it's we're not ripping out of it yet but if i'd lay let this sit for any longer length of time uh, than just the time to drive home and turn the video on here this would be falling out by now so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fire roasted salsa, which is not hot. There's no heat at all to that. Um, if you've never had fire roasted salsa, then it's like fire roasted tomatoes, just with some heat. If you've never had fire roasted tomatoes before, I don't know really how to help you. Just think of like a tomato that's been cooked over a barbecue a little bit. It's kind of got just a little bit of a, on a roasted over barbecue. I mean, a little, little, maybe a little hint of smoke, just very, just very minor, but they usually have a little bit of char on the, um, the bits of tomato, the, the skin, usually has a little bit black, black, black and char on it, and it usually has a little bit of a different, uh, overall flavor. I'm not sure if it's spices they add to it, or if that is just the way it turns out from fire roasting the tomato, but, um. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can see some more of that steak right there. Um, the flavor of the steak doesn't really come out to me all that well. Um, it's tender, <clears throat> easy to chew. That goes together, obviously. Um, it's basically... Mm, it's a good quality of steak. I'm not going to say it's a sirloin. It's probably a sirloin. If I had to guess. I don't think it's carne asada. Because this isn't... This isn't real Mexican food, folks. This is kind of just a... West Mex, as they call it. Taco John's is a West Mex kind of a thing, so it's kind of a... But th this looks like probably chunks of 
probably sirloin beef. I don't think it's ribeye or anything like that, but it's tender. It's flavorful. I mean, it's, it's flavorful as far as it tastes like beef, but it doesn't really stand out as being flavored beyond just a beef flavor. The, um, the flavor of the, of the fire roasted tomato sauce kind of overpowers the flavor of the beef. Um, and then you've got the lettuce, which is strong too, but this isn't, this is pretty good. I, I do like this. So let's go ahead and finish it off here and, uh, we'll get on the churro bites. I'll show you what those look like. Mm-hmm. So there goes that. Now, no, there was two more hot sauces stuck in the tacos. I am full. I am really hot, baby. Woo. Okay. So let's look at the churro bites real quick here. Now think of like a, a donut, a cinnamon donut. This has sprinkles on it. Sugary, sparkly sprinkle thingies on it there. A little choo choo mitt there to make it try to focus there, maybe. It's just basically a donut log with some cinnamon flavor and some probably cane sugar. It's pretty big, pretty big uh, crystal sugar crystals there, but and they're deep fried, they're like a donut kind of. There's nothing really in the middle of them. Like I said, it's just donut. They have a a little bit of a, or fairly pronounced actually. Some this one's pretty pronounced actually. Has a bit of a vanilla-y flavor. Um, could associate this pretty close to a pancake actually, in my opinion. Tastes very much like a pancake. Um, could also maybe say um, white cake, but. Pancake, this this does remind me of a pancake, most of the closest thing I can think of, with a lot of sugar on top of it. They're crunchy on the outside, but they're doughy on the inside, so they're really tasty. So, you know, you get four of them in there for a buck fifty nine. That one's focusing pretty good there. So, We'll put that away for now. And while we're here, we might as well show you what the taco looks like in comparison. Now, they charged me $2 a taco tonight. Or, do I have the receipt around here? I think it was, well, maybe not quite a, maybe it was $1.59, I think, a taco. So, what you just saw, we're going to compare it to this, okay? This is $1.59. Well, it's not Taco Tuesday, apparently. It wasn't today. I don't know why it's Tuesday. It could be Taco Tuesday. Maybe someone just at that particular Taco John's there. But So, here's what the regular taco looks like at Taco John's. And you got the lettuce. You got the lettuce. And... Got so it's the same exact lettuce, by the way. It's all over the sheet. And you got ground beef, and you got cheese. That's basically what their tacos are. Now they have a kind of a taco meat sauce. It's a little not spicy, but it's it, you know taco flavored sauce. It's like kind of a red sauce with a little bit of a little bit of spice, not too much spice, but just a little bit. So that's what you get for $1.59 now. Lengthwise, the other one went to probably about here. It was about over to, I don't know. Went up about this far on the shell. 
and it went out about this further, so the shell, I guess, was probably, I don't know, would that be 30% longer? Not 50%, but 30% longer, maybe, so, I don't know. We'll give you a bite, we'll get a bite here, and we'll show you the inside. So you got that melted cheese right there. Got that melted cheese, all that lettuce, and then you got the beef down below. And that's very finely, it's very, it's fine granular um, beef um, hamburger. It's very fine, so these can make you hungry after an hour or so because there's not really a whole lot there. It's mostly, it's probably a lot of filler in the beef mixture there. So, I'm going to cut it off right there, folks, because we're at a 20-minute mark. I don't want to bore you to death. So, how am I going to rate this? Well, it's not a burger, so it's not really in that same league. Since I haven't done a taco review yet, I don't think I did. Did I do one for Burger King? If you've had the Burger King taco, that's very close to this. Um, yeah, the Burger King taco, that's very close to this, except that's a white shell. This is a yellow shell, but it's very, very similar to that. <clears throat> so, is that fancy taco that I just ate tonight, the taco peak, what did they call it? The peak, peacock? I don't know what they called it. I don't remember what they call it. Look at the description. I don't remember what it's called. Pika, pika something or not. Unedited, folks. Unedited. Straight to YouTube. It's the way we do it on this channel. We do the foodie reviews as is. Woo, right to YouTube. So. <clears throat> I'm going to choke here. Okay. Do I think those are good? They were very good. They were very good. The, chi the chicken and the steak were both very good. If you get that particular combo, I would recommend the steak and the chicken. I think it's good. It's a good contrast between the two. I like the chicken better because i like the chipotle sauce i think it's it it has more flavor than the the red fire sauce is good don't get me wrong that's very good but i tend to like the chipotle a little bit more myself but i would say get each of it get each one in the combo see which one you like the better overall i'm not sure that they're better than a regular taco for the money big chunks of chicken Big chunks of steak. Definitely an A-plus on that. All the fixings are the same as a regular taco, except it did have some tomato, but these don't have tomato on them. They have tomato sauce kind of a thing in the in the meat. but So there's a little bit more there, but yeah, yeah that's kind of here, that's kind of here, no there. Um, no sour cream. They did offer that. I'm sure they would have picked charged like two bucks for a, a sour cream on the top. No guacamole. None of that stuff, so... For $7.99 with the as the basic combo, I don't think this is worth the money over buying just four or five tacos and having that. Now they have a meat and potato burrito over there for six dollars and fifty-nine cents the combo. I think that's probably more food. Now this is a this was a good pretty good uh, meal. I like the flavor, but I don't think the, the they were long. There wasn't a whole, whole lot of height on them, so I don't know that there's really any more overall volume than these tacos do. So I think for this review, considering the size and the price, I'm going to go ahead and give this probably a 7 out of 10. It does taste very good, but I don't think it's worth the $8. That's my opinion for the basic combo. And I think $7 is a good, it's a good food, but a little pricey, I think, on that. Which is kind of Taco John's thing, actually. So, um, they've got a couple other things interesting over there that I might try. But, uh, again, these are just kind of the premium fast food things. I would call them premium. And, yeah, I think 7 out of 10 is fair for this time. So, um, we'll do... This is the first taco review, I think. 
I don't remember if I did the Burger King one or not. Um, I think the Burger King tacos for a dollar are better than these. They're basically the same, but they're a dollar every day. Whereas these, a dollar fifty nine every day, except on Tuesdays, which are supposed to be sixty nine cents, which they weren't tonight. So I don't know what the hell the deal is with that. So it's after December the tenth, folks, and Spanky Chooches is still on YouTube. So woo! All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. This was a long one. I apologize. Didn't mean to go this long, but it is what it is. Merry Christmas, everybody. And we'll do another taco review very soon. Spank that thumbs up. Spank the subscribe. Spank the share. And spank yourself while you're at it, all right? Peace out, everybody. Woo!